Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Psycho. What do you know about this? Um, so this is Alfred Hitchcock. Yeah. Um, I have never seen an Alfred Hitchcock film. I don't know if I have either. Obviously an icon. Right. I know who he is, you know who he is. Right. Um, and I think there's a ton of Hitchcock films to get through. Well, I'm sure there's a ton and I'm sure they influenced almost everyone. Yeah, so very excited to see this. Um, another black and white film, I believe, Yeah. for the channel. Just kind of like the shining and the ax through the door scene. I believe there is one iconic scene in this film that I know that I don't want to say in case you don't know it. I think I probably know what you're talking about as well. So I don't know if we should say, did we did we do that? One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, all right, so we'll do that again. So one, two, three, shower. shower. Okay. okay. All right, so that scene I am aware of. Obviously, I don't know like what leads up to that. Yeah, I have no idea the circumstances around that, if that's a main thing or if that's just like the first kill or yeah. what, I don't know. I just know that this is considered a classic by an all-time great director, mm -hmm. and I think it's considered like the original slasher film. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm excited and nervous <laughs> yeah. for this. I feel like, uh, I don't know how much more my heart can take <laughs> it's this been, month. <laughs> it's been a rough month, but we're, we're getting towards the end. Yeah. But I'm, I'm super excited. Yeah, me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Instagrams, Twitch, or Twitter, all those links will be in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Super intense right off the gate. I feel like this sound sounds familiar. I could be totally wrong, but for some reason, I feel like Jamie Lee Curtis's mom, Janet, her. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I feel like I saw some comments. Right? That it was her mom, yeah. We'll see if she's like super recognizable. If she just looks just like her. Yeah. Very intense. Yeah. And back in the day when they did all the credits in the very beginning of the movie too. So you had to watch yeah. them. <laughs> okay, we're in Arizona. Very specific. The day, the date, the time. I'm meeting you in secret, so we can be secretive. Forbidden love right away. We can even have dinner in my house with my mother's picture on the mantle. All right. Okay. Looks like he's in. A couple of years in my debts will be paid off. Oh, Sam, let's get married. That was fast. Yeah. They just agreed on being respectable. When I send my ex-wife for alimony. You can lick the stamps. <laughs> That's true love. <laughs> I'm buying this house for my baby's wedding present. $40,000 cash. Ooh. I think that's a lot of money. That's not buying happiness. That's just buying off unhappiness. It's still a lot of money. <laughs> I never carry more than I can afford to lose. <laughs> Sometimes I can keep my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> This guy. I am dying of thirsteroni. He's got a lot of confidence to him. He was flirting with you. I guess he must have noticed my wedding ring. <laughs> Going out and get ourselves a little drinking done, right? Of course. <laughs> I guess I'll go put this money in the bank. Oh, looks like she didn't stop by the bank. I mean, he did say he doesn't carry more than he's willing to lose. She just gone. Seems like she's contemplating it, but she's still packing. <laughs> Barely fit it in her purse. Of course, I'm glad to see you. I always am. What is it, Marion? She fantasizing her conversation with Sam. Yeah, you were supposed to be in bed. I mean, you were literally immediately caught. <laughs> but he doesn't know she didn't go to the bank. He just knows that she <laughs> is didn't not... go home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
and her boss noticed her. Now she attracted the attention of a police officer. She in there? Oh. <laughs> hey, hold it there. <laughs> was trying to drive away? Is anything wrong? Am I acting as if there's something wrong? <laughs> Frankly, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I've told you there's nothing wrong, except that I'm in a hurry and you're taking up my time. Hey. May I see your license? Why? Please. She's pushing it. Yeah. <laughs> Just taking all that stacks of cash out of the way. Music. Right? It's the most intense drive away. Bakersfield. Gorman. <laughs> <laughs> right in the middle of nowhere, California. <laughs> Man, he's really following her. All right, you're safe. She's gonna sell her car and buy a new one? Oh, maybe. She has plenty of money. Pretty quick thinking, considering she just got this money. Oh, wow, this guy again? So, you're selling your car? Yeah, right? <laughs> There's an old saying, first customer of the day is always the most trouble, but like I... <laughs> you give me... Can I trade my car in and take another? There's nothing wrong with it, I just... Sick of the sight of it. <laughs> One thing people never ought to be when they're buying used cars, and that's in a hurry. I mean, he's literally watching you do this. Yeah. He's gonna need to come up with some excuse. That's the one I'd have picked for you myself. <laughs> you are in a hurry, aren't you? Somebody chasing you? The first time the customer ever high pressured the salesman. <laughs> Your car plus $700. Whoa. All right. <laughs> the salesman. Like, holy crap, I just sold this car. This guy is so shook. Oh, is he the cop now? I'm gonna put it together. The cop's gonna come asking some questions while she's in there. Yeah. But she took, what, like 40000 in cash? Yeah. $700 is nothing. Oh, for sure. I think she needs a better place to store that money. Yeah. Do you think I've stolen my car? Oh, ma'am. <laughs> There's a police officer watching you. That's interesting that he's just leaving? Nope. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was like, that doesn't make sense. Hey! All her luggage? Oh, wow. <laughs> just put it in here, please. And it's not like the police officer can't just look at your new license plate. Those three guys are like, this is the strangest <laughs> day of my life. Her sister's going to do that. She's as worried as we are. She has so many just red flags. For everyone. Said she didn't feel well and wanted to leave early. I said she could. That was the last I saw. No. I did see her sometime later driving. Uh, I think you'd better come over here to my office. There you go. <laughs> Girl works for you for 10 years. You trust her. Sorry, I lost all your money. I'll get it back, and if any of it's missing, I'll replace it with her fine, soft flesh. Oh, my God. And, and even flirting with me. This look on her face is freaking me out, though. Yeah. And you can hardly see anything. This rain with the music? Yeah, she's looking real close. How are you not getting into a car accident? I feel like she's gonna hit someone. Bates Motel. Yeah. We've seen that before. Universal. So Norman Bates is from Psycho. I guess, yeah. I thought that was just a, a totally different thing. I didn't realize this was this movie from the back lot. Oh yeah, we've seen that house too? Yeah. Dirty night. You have a vacancy? No, oh, we have 12 vacancies. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd gotten off the main road. Nobody ever stops here anymore unless they've done that. And so they're really... Struggling. And isolated. Yeah. I guess isolate is more important. <laughs> well, 
was a big diner about 10 miles up the road, just outside of Fairvale. Am I that close to Fairvale? 15 miles. <laughs> She's like, dang, I should have just kept going. <laughs> Boy, it's stuffy in here. Well, no one stayed here. And I'll be back as soon as it's ready with my, with my trusty umbrella. <laughs> He seems like a really nice guy. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Man, I had no idea that Norman Bates was this movie. Was Psycho? Yeah, we've been on that tour how many times? The Universal. I thought there was Psycho, and then I thought there was like a movie called like Bates Motel. Yeah. Or, or... I'm still not a hundred percent sure why was she was so motivated to steal. I mean, it is a lot of money, and it was really easy for her to steal. As far as I know, it's not like she had debts to pay or anything. She's just a stranger. She's hungry and it's raining out. That's it. She's just a stranger. Wow, their voices really travel. Huh, boy? You have the guts, boy? Dang. Shut up! An aggressive mom. Is he bringing the food to her? Looks like it. Uh, I have the parlor back here. All right. Parlor? Okay, lots of dead animals. They're very kind. It's all for you. I'm not hungry, go ahead. She's <laughs> gonna watch her eat? My hobby is stuffing things, taxidermy. Oh, God. I think only birds look well stuffed because kind of passive to begin with. Strange hobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, interesting dinner conversation too. Where are you going? I'm looking for a private island. What are you running away from? He's very perceptive. I was born in mine. I don't mind it anymore. You should mind it. Oh, I do. <laughs> but I say I don't. Oh my gosh. I feel I'd like to go up there and curse her and, and, and leave her forever. He talked her into building this motel. And the way he died. I guess there's nothing to talk about while you're eating. We've already had some pretty intense conversations. Why don't you go away? I couldn't do that. Who'd look after her? She'd be alone up there. It'd be cold and damp like a grave. If you put her someplace... A madhouse? Oh, I was just thinking like a retirement home. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it to sound uncaring. What do you know about caring? Uh oh The laughing and the tears and the cruel eyes studying you. She's clearly seen the inside of those places. She just goes a little mad sometimes. This is a weird relationship. Yeah. Haven't you? Yeah, just stole a bunch of money. I stepped into a private trap back there, and I'd like to go back and try to pull myself out of it. Oh, I wonder if she's really telling the truth. Well, uh, I'll see you in the morning. All right, Miss, uh... Crane. That was one of those captivating conversations I've ever seen, though. This guy's excellent. Clearly, the mother was the line. I'm confused. She didn't sign Crane. Samuels? Yeah. Oh, he's on to her. You Ooh, see yeah. Him? Does he have a hole? Oh, I, that's why he picked cabin number one. No way. Dang. What a shot. I wonder if he's gonna try to do something to keep her here longer, like fuck up her car or something. I don't know, he's on a mission for <laughs> sure. He gives off such a perfect creepy vibe, even just like walking. He's very awkward. Yeah, but still like kind and gentle, but then he can switch pretty quickly. We're in the shower. I feel like it's too early. Oh. Oh. oh, it's her? It's the mom? Oh my god, she's getting stabbed all over. So he is not a hor not a murderer. I thought I thought it would be yeah, Norman. I thought it would be him. Jeez. 
That was interesting. Intense. Yeah, how like violent that was without actually showing anything. Yeah. Wow, the mom must have just come down and took care of her. Wow, so is this whole storyline just over now? <laughs> like, our main character for the first half of the movie is just dead. Oh, all the cash is in there. Where's that little hole? Right? He's going to look through the hole and see the dead body just laying in there. Oh, God! Mother! Blood! Blood! Guess he didn't need the hole to realize. Well, she wasn't really harmless like a bird. We also didn't even see what the mom looked like at all. No, just like the hair. Ooh. Thinking quick. Go bury the body. Oh, it's a, it's a mop. <laughs> I was like, that's a long shovel. <laughs> I wonder if this has happened before. Like, has the mom killed? Yeah, he seemed like he, it was like blood and then immediately ran down. At least back in this time, you could probably just get rid of the body and clean up the blood and not be too worried about fingerprints or... Well, and she was running away on her own, so it's not like she's going to be missing. Right. Man, poor Norman. I know. I thought you were the crazy killer this whole time. It's a lot of blood. But it's got to be so easy to get away with murder back then. <laughs> He's pretty composed. At some point with all this cleaning, he's going to have to find this 40000 in cash. He's going to have to get rid of all, the, her, all of her stuff. Yeah. He's totally cleaned the whole room. And the car. He's like thinking very fast here. Just checking everything. Got to be so paranoid to grab everything. The only thing he's missed is that newspaper. Yep, it's the last piece. Oh, oh, is this the cop? Better close that trunk. And it was raining. The ground must be pretty soft to dig. Or he's just gonna dump the whole car. Yeah, just leave the car on the side of the road or something. Just became very rich, Norman. Oh! I probably shouldn't be rooting for Norman. <laughs> I mean, he's covering for his mom. Yeah, he didn't kill her. He's got Obviously, it was still really bad, but... Gotta protect his mom. Yeah, they have that weird relationship. Seems like it was one-sided from the mom from an early age and fucked them up for life. Oh, just pushed into the swamp? Wow. What is this, like tar or mud? Yeah, I don't think it's water. He's hoping it goes all the way down. You're fucked. It would have been a great plan if it was about two feet deeper. Oh. <laughs> that little smirk. Dang. Swallowed it right up. Man, I can't believe her and the money, they're just gone. <laughs> but I want to talk to Marion and I want her to tell me it's none of my business and then I'll go. Run out and get yourself some lunch, will you? That's okay, Sam. I brought it with me. Run out and eat it. <laughs> think we be in together. Sorry. Who's this guy? Who are you, friend? My name is Arbogast, friend. Oh, I thought they came together. Yeah. Where is she, Miss Crane? This guy must have been hired by the uh, guy from the beginning with all the cash. Sam, they don't want to prosecute. They just want the money back. Sam, if she's here... She isn't. She isn't. With a little checking, I could get to believe you. <laughs> she was seen leaving town in her own car by her employer, I might add. 
can't believe it. Can you? Yeah. <laughs> you should have said no. Well, she's not back there with the nuts and balls, but she's here in this town somewhere. Dang, this guy's in a lot of trouble now. <laughs> He's suspect number one. It's got to lead all the way to Bates. Oh man, how well can Norman hold up against questioning and pressure? As long as they don't bring up his mom. <laughs> the mom's gonna come down and kill this guy. I've been trying to trace a girl that's been missing for about a week now from Phoenix. Doing pretty well so far. Uh, Marion Crane's a real name, but she could have registered under a different one. Uh, I mean, someone did sign. If he looks. Registered under another name. Do you mind if I look at your book? Oh no. <laughs> I mean, she did use an alias. Right. And I don't think she wrote down Phoenix. I think she wrote down L.A. I have a sample of her handwriting. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Keep it together, Norman. Marie Samuels. That's an interesting address. The shot. Marion Samuels. Her boyfriend's name is Sam. Oh, no. That was pretty easy. You know, it's tough keeping track of the time around. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Went straight to sleep and uh, left early the next morning. Well, how early? Oh, Don. The, 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 the next morning, Sunday. I see. Oh, no, man, you're crumbling. See, I, now I'm starting to, to um, remember it. I'm making a mental picture of it in my mind, you know. If you... <laughs> and uh, after she left, she uh, didn't come back. Hmm. Well, why should she? <laughs> He's not a good liar. No. Oh, why did you hesitate at number one? Oh man, just chilling in the window. She might have fooled me, but she didn't fool my mother. Well, then your mother oh. met her. Could I? Could I talk to your mother? No, as I told you, she's she's confined. Dang it! I think I've talked to you all I want to. Yes, but so, just for... I think it'd be much better if you left now. Man, this private investigator is really good. <laughs> Man, he broke pretty quick, though. <laughs> yeah, Norman did not hold up. I wonder if he's going to tell his mom, though. I don't know. Maybe the mom will have a better idea of how to keep things under wrap. Yeah. Because this private investigator, he knows that this is the place. Last Saturday night at the Bates Motel. It's right out here on the old highway. I even know what cabin she was in. It was number one. Wow, so good. Uh, I think our friend uh, Sam Loomis didn't know that Marion was here. Well, that clears up Sam, at yeah. least. <laughs> Already back. Why does everybody do that? Get out the opposite <laughs> side? Yeah, that's the first time I noticed it. I noticed them getting in on that side, too. Bates knows you're here. Thought Bates was going to be standing right there when he got up. I mean, the mom seemed super cruel, but she didn't seem, like, physically weak, obviously, or incapable of understanding what was going on. Yeah. I don't know about her having, like, a true mental illness that he's depicting. Yeah, exactly. This dude just walked right into this house. Yeah, he's a very ballsy private investigator. And he saw her upstairs, right? Yeah, so he should have an idea of what room she's in. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> this mom is vicious! <laughs> scared me. That scared the crap out of me. That fall down the stairs, too. She was like, quick! Yeah. Oof. You catch my breath. What am I supposed to do? Just sit here and wait? Stay here. Man, they're just gonna get picked off one by one by this mom. I wonder if he's gone back inside? No. I don't think so. I don't think he has any idea his mom just killed someone else. Arbogast! Unless, did he just dump Arbogast's car in this area too? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think so. I don't know how many cars this place can hold. Oh, 
You made it back? No arbogast, no baits. Only the old lady at home. Sick old lady unable to answer the door or unwilling. Oh. She's not missing so much as she's run away. That's right. From what? She's a thief. I think what's wrong is your private detective called you to keep you still while he took off after her and the money. Oh, man. He wasn't out when you were there. He just wasn't answering the door in the dead of night like some people. <laughs> you must remember that bad business out there about 10 years ago. Please. What happened 10 years ago? The sheriff wants you to connect him with the Bates Motel. Man, Norma's going to crack again. What? And after he left? No, that's, that's okay, Norman. <laughs> Good job, Norman. Norman Bates' mother has been dead for the past 10 years. What? It ain't only local history, Sam. It's the only case of murder and suicide on Fairvale ledgers. Murder suicide? She poisoned this guy she was involved with when she found out he was married. Jeez. Who's the lady in the house? Is he dressing up as his mom? I guess we've never seen them together. Well, if the woman up there is Mrs. Bates. We have seen the shadow and him at the same time. Yeah. Oh, did he stuff her? Oh my god, why did that take so long to... He stuffed her. <laughs> he had to have. No way. So he ha he is the killer. Oh my god. Uh, Norman. We're about to see the mom. What a twist. I'm gonna bring something up. <laughs> I am sorry, boy, but do manage... Oh my gosh, how crazy is Norman? Mother, please, it's just for a few days. Just for a few days so they won't find you. Where are we going? Don't you touch me! Don't! Put me down! Put me down! I can walk on my own! So he definitely still has the body. Wow, that explains how she was so fast and strong. But also, like, when that detective arrived, he was down there. How did he get all the way up? No, he disappeared into the shadows. No, he went into one of the rooms, I thought. Yeah, but then the detective went into the office and looked around for a little bit. You're right. Well, you want me to drop you at the hotel, or... Sam, I still won't feel satisfied until I go out there. You two are dead. And then we're going to search every inch of the place, inside and out. They said they're during the day. Norman is way more capable than I originally thought. We don't like the look of that sky. Looks like a bad day coming, doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> I wonder if he recognizes Sam from already coming here. Mm. I get your bags, haven't any? Super suspicious. That receipt. This is so awkward. Yeah. I mean, they did a really bad job at not drawing attention from Norman. To get a new business somewhere else. $40,000. Makes sense. Not even about the money. Let's start with Kevin one. He sees you. I'm sure he's watching you. <laughs> it's broad daylight. And he has a hole to peep on you. I can't believe Bates left number one unlocked. Unless he has a plan. Oh. Oh. A receipt. Added to or subtracted from 40,000. That proves Marion was here. I can handle a sick old woman. Oh, she's dead. I'll find Bates and keep him occupied. Well, there can't be two of them, potentially. You're right. If you do get anything, don't stop to tell me. Yeah, I mean, whoever is with Bates is the one who's in danger. The mom is literally just a corpse. Ooh. Looking for me? Why, well, yes, as a matter of fact. I thought I'd look you up and talk. Good. You satisfied with you, Kevin? He must have been watching them the whole time. But he hid the mom's body, right? Yeah, I forgot exactly where, but some sort of like cellar. Cellar, I think, yeah. Shots are scary. Yeah, she's not making much progress. <laughs> and I feel like the mom is alive and is going to open up this front door. a bed it's like indented that's just where she was laying this whole time probably 
And then maybe he would just prop her up in the chair every once in a while or something. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, as long as he's with Norman, she's free to roam around this house. Where is she? Oh. Oh. Okay, see ya, Sam. Hide. Oh, she's gonna hide probably where the mom is. Oh. How gross is this about to be? Oh, no. What? Dang, Sam. Holy shit. I don't think he stuffed her. No, I don't think he stuffed her. She was just, he just took the body back. Wow, I can't believe they caught him. <laughs> you have to go back 10 years to the time when Norman murdered his mother and her lover. What? Norman did it? Matricide is probably the most unbearable crime of all. He had to erase the crime. Became her? So he began to think and speak for her. Give her half his life, so to speak. Wow. At other times, the mother half took over completely. I severely underestimated Norman. If he felt a strong attraction to any other woman, that set off the jealous mother, and mother killed the girl. Covered up all traces of the crime he was convinced his mother had committed. Why was he dressed like that? To keep alive the illusion of his mother being alive. Yeah, he was his mom. He tried to be his mother. Now he is. So he's just stuck as the mom? And the dominant personality is what? And the $40,000? These were crimes of passion, not profit. The money was nothing. Mm. He was always bad. And in the end, he intended to tell them I killed those girls. Oh, they know I can't even move a finger. Jeez. I'll just sit here and be quiet, just in case they do suspect me. Mom fully thinks she got away with it. I'm not even going to swat that fly. Why, she wouldn't even. No way. Oh, that transition with the skull? All right, that was psycho. What'd you think? That was really clever. Yeah. I guess I was expecting more slasher and it was more like kind of psychological. Yeah, it was definitely unique. Yeah. I thought we were gonna see something where uh, whatever, a ton of people were gonna get killed, like someone was obsessed with murder or yeah. something. But no, it was really like a, family dynamic kind of like just a troubled son that was broken i don't know i mean that was just crazy there was a bunch of twists and turns that i wasn't even expecting we both talked before the movie that we knew of a shower scene mm -hmm. but we didn't know how that played into anything right and that was early and that was pretty early yeah um and then once we saw the bates motel sign we realized that oh this is about norman bates which right what i know of of norman bates is just like an evil person. I thought Norman Bates was a killer. Yeah. And then the movie kind of started playing out and you see his mom kill. Right. And I was like, oh man, Norman Bates isn't a killer. He's just like a son who had a really shitty mom. Yeah. And it just kept twisting and turning from that point forward. Yeah, no, there was, there was a lot. And Norman Bates was like, likable. I liked <laughs> Norman Bates. Like uh, the actor, Anthony Perkins, Fantastic. I was so captivated yeah. and wanting to root for him. He did such a great job of being charismatic, yet awkward. Yeah. He kind of even walked and stood like weird, like he was like lanky. Yeah, he was lanky. That's the word I was going to use as well. And so he was just this perfect character where it was like, I feel bad for him, yet I'm also creeped out by him. It was amazing. Yeah, and especially in that scene with the private detective just for anthony perkins like that was fantastic watching him just like crack yeah um because norman bates had it so together 
and he was like so smooth with Marion. Mm -hmm. It just, it seemed like so natural. And especially cause he obviously seemed kind of like he didn't really have a lot of human interaction. No. Um, it seemed like it was really just his mom and no one came to the motel anymore and he grew up there. So it just didn't seem like, he just seemed so much more well adjusted uh -huh. than I thought he would be just based on that background. Obviously he was not. No. But yeah, that was crazy. I mean, I guess, you know, you bring in the taxidermy um, kind of aspect of it. And then, yeah, I mean, as soon as the sheriff's, the sheriff and his wife looked at each other like. Right, when, once they said that the private detective talked uh, to the mom or wanted to talk to the mom or whatever, and they both looked at each other like, huh? That, yeah. From that point on, it was like, wait a second, what's going on with the mom? Yeah. And then they revealed that the mom had been dead for 10 yeah. years. It, it immediately clicked. Holy shit, Norman is running around dressed as, as his mom. Yeah. And and we talked uh, a little bit earlier that like, wow, the mom doesn't really seem mentally ill or anything. Like she seems like she's having perfectly fine conversations with Norman. Yeah. When she killed Marion. That looked pretty physical. Yeah. Like, yeah, she took her down. And even when the mom or Norman attacked the private investigator, like it was fast, like just like jumped out of the doorway yeah. pretty much. Everything was physical. So it just made sense all of a sudden how an old lady could do this because it wasn't an old lady. It was Norman the whole time. Yeah. And it was interesting that the shots that they chose, you know, when Norman dressed up as his mom walks into the shower can't really see. No. And then you're seeing from the point of view of Norman stabbing. Yeah. And then the shot of him dressed as her coming out and attacking the private detective was from the top. Yeah, it was an overhead shot. The camera was like awkwardly moving and then it like set itself overhead shot so you couldn't see who it was. Right, you couldn't see who it was. You couldn't see like height because Norman was a very tall man. Right. Um, you couldn't see height, you couldn't see anything. It was just, you know, the top of the wig and you could see like the robe or whatever she was wearing um, coming out. Yeah. So very interesting shots. And yeah, I mean, Anthony Perkins was incredible though. Yeah, he was incredible. I, and I mean, that was just so clever. Something that I absolutely did not see coming, you know, his ability to portray all of these different things in terms of being likable, charismatic, weird, creepy. And then, you know, you almost kind of feel, at least I did, I was kind of like rooting for him for a little bit, at least when I thought that he- Was covering for his was mom. Was covering for his mom and his mm -hmm. mom seemed real shitty and stuff. And then once you find out what the truth is, you can look back and be like, wow, this is so disturbing on a completely new level. Yeah. It's creepy, all of it. Yeah. That was an amazing twist. And, you know, the whole point of like almost the first half of this movie, it's just kind of setting up the stage to have people have a reason to show up to the hotel. But it's, yeah. that's, that's it. Like the money doesn't matter. You know, all of like the storyline with the cop chasing it, that never happened. Like none of this mattered. Yeah, I was gonna say the exact same thing that it was so interesting how they set up the beginning and you know, we get so attached to Marion. Yeah. And you know, all the suspense of, oh, like she's stealing this money and you would think, yeah, she is going to see Sam. Yeah. And then we have the whole, cop and the used car dealership like it was all just so suspenseful yeah you're thinking like oh man how is she gonna get away with it why exactly is she doing this like it's the main story yeah and then when they show up at the bates motel it like clicked like oh we've seen this motel how many times at universal studios and with the house up on the hill yeah um and during the tour they're like you know, here comes Norman Bates and some random actor comes running after the tram. Yeah, and I remember as like Norman Bates, not Norman Bates dressed as his mom. Yeah, I, you know, I think you're right. So that's why it's like when we first saw the Norman Bates sign, I was thinking Norman Bates was the killer. And yeah. then as the movie went on, I was like, oh, I guess 
this is the twist that it wasn't him it was the mom but you go through the first half of the movie thinking your main character is marion and then nope she gets killed in that shower sequence the money means nothing he dumps the car and now your new main character is essentially norman bates yeah and speaking of marion i did not recognize her as jamie lee curtis's mom no, but that is Jamie Lee Curtis's mom, right? I believe so. Because she's Janet Lee and Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh, I see that. I believe so. I thought I was going to recognize the face when I saw it and I didn't, I didn't put that together. But I can see why this is like a classic and all of the things that were inspired by this film. Oh yeah, because I mean, some of the jump scares or just the tension that was built yeah. Uh, you know, kind of like how you described how the killer is always kind of shadowed in mystery. Yeah. Uh, you know, the twist, that the corpse, you know, it was all spooky and creepy and it just kept getting worse and worse and worse as the movie went on. Uh, I mean, that shower scene, super iconic. Yeah. I, I know parts of that shower scene, but I probably just like the music and a few stabs. I never knew who was in the shower. Yeah. Uh, but then obviously once the character that we're following gets into the shower, it's like, okay, this must be it. Yeah, I feel like I've seen like spoofs. Yeah. So that's why you don't really know who's there, but you hear the like, eh, 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 <laughs> and like the knife, Yeah. you know? Like probably Family Guy or Simpsons or something. Yeah, but that was great. I mean, like you said in the moment, it seemed horrific, yet you don't see anything. Yeah. You just, you know, it's a bunch of movement and then you see the kind of blood draining down. Yeah. And that's all you really needed to kind of, you know, build this terrible crime that just was committed. Right. Yeah. And interesting, I'm assuming for the time. Yeah. Um, And that's why it was kind of portrayed that way. And then it's also in black and white, so you don't have like the blood. You know it's blood, but it's not like in your face. Yeah. So... Just excellent from start to finish and, you know, finding out that who the victims that we saw in this movie, that wasn't even it. Like there was other missing cases. So yeah. Norman has been doing this already. Yeah. That final shock when Marion's sister uh, found the mom in the cellar and then like hits the light and turns around. And when Norman comes in and he, he like had an expression on his face. That was... It was scary. That was scary. Yeah. And the light... Yeah, it's just like swinging. That was, t I thought she was dead. I thought she was dead for sure. I thought Sam was already dead with like a head wound or something. Yeah. I thought that was it for them. The fact that they grabbed him and contained him until the police got there. And that was like terrifying the face. You said the face when he walked in, but also when he was like kind of grabbing his arm. Yeah. And like pulling him down. Like it just like the pain and. Yeah, it was. It was more than just him feeling like he got caught. It yeah. was... It was disturbing. It was disturbing. It was almost like the son being sad that the mom got caught. or It was it was on another level for sure. Yeah. And I was anticipating um, the actual body of the mom being better preserved <laughs> than that. Like, that was scary looking with those, like, just eye holes. <laughs> eye holes. And the fact that he's just been talking to that and carrying it around and yeah and propping it up like in the window yeah. and stuff and just creepy like once you find out the truth about this movie it makes everything else you just saw that much worse yeah and i mean i loved the ending just the breakdown from that doctor yeah talking about the different personalities and exactly why one was jealous of the other or finding out that norman killed his parents 10 years ago it wasn't yeah. suicide yeah which they were like murder suicide rattles the town yeah there's literally no reason to feel bad for norman as opposed to towards the beginning of the movie you think norman had a shitty mom and then they the mom killed someone committed suicide you're like man poor norman yeah none of that is true it's just been norman this whole time yeah and that like smirky yeah that's face exactly at the end that's exactly what I want to talk about for the last thing. It's just, that was a perfect way. The, the mom talking about how, oh, I'm going to act so nice and sweet. And now that I ratted out my evil, shitty son, they're definitely going to let me out of this room. Yeah. I'm not going to kill this fly because I'm so sweet and gentle. And then that smile. And Into the 
Yeah, and like skeleton. looking up and, and then the transition to the skeleton. Like, yeah. That was excellent. Yeah. I am personally excited for more Hitchcock. Oh, for sure. You know, I was expecting a great movie, but I definitely was going in thinking it was going to be more of a straightforward slasher, I guess. Yeah. Just more focused on the killing and stuff. Yeah. But like you said, this was much more of like a thriller, like a psychological thriller with some intense kills. Yeah. But some crazy turns that really affected the story. Yeah. Super creative. Yeah. I mean, I think there's like a whole slew of movies for us to oh, watch. Oh, yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links will be in the description as well. And with that, peace, everyone. Bye. Bye.